The Bank of Namibia cautioned that if the increase in oil prices persist, it might tighten the monetary policy through adjusting interest rates. The central bank's spokesperson, Kazembire Zemburga, says the escalation in oil prices will put inflationary pressure on the economy. To contain this pressure, the bank may intervene by increasing the repo rate. Zemburga says that as a consequence, this may lead to a further deterioration in the existing non-performing loan book. We anticipate that um, further global crude oil prices will continue to exert pressure on the domestic pump prices. Unfortunately, these external factors affect all, and there is little that Namibia as a net importer of crude oil can do to limit the pass-through to consumers when crude oil increases by large margins, as we saw in the wake of the Ukraine Russia conflict. Namibia as a net importer of oil will see significant pressure on transport uh, and food categories of the Namibia Consumer Price Index, the NCPI. Asked about Namibia's exposure to Russia and its currency, Zemburuga says Namibia held about $80 million or 0.02% of the country's foreign reserves at the start of the conflict. Apart from the increase in the fuel import bill, Namibia as a net importer of food will also take a further hit resulting in the worsening deficit on its current account. Namibians with families in Russia will no longer be able to send money using banks to their relatives in Russia. In addition, says Temburuga, local banks will no longer be able to process payment instructions to any sanctioned bank in Russia as the country has been removed from the international payment system, the SWIFT network. A Namibian student in Russia told the NBC that the economic situation in that country is worsening. They are cutting off our bank cards tomorrow, MasterCard and Visa. Um, they already cut off the online transactions that we used to do because um, there's this other bank that we used to do where you don't have to withdraw money, you just transfer to a Russian bank and you go withdraw from their ATM, the charges were lower. But um, I did that today in the morning and then in the afternoon they were like, um, international transactions are no more available. The Russian invasion on Ukraine is now in its third week and the West had pulled out every gun and hit that country with every sanction possible. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.